guys. Welcome to another episode of Tactical Taylor's Guide Through the Gun World. I'm your host, Tactical Taylor. Today we have a very exciting episode. We're going to test and experiment with probably one of the most amazing firearms on the planet. And I'll explain more when we get there. Hey guys, we're back. We linked up with Zach with Black Sword. Let me express how excited I am to be doing this video with these guys today. Um, in my opinion, Black Sword has created the most innovative product in the industry today. Um, and that's, again, my opinion, to each their own. Uh, but they've achieved something amazing with their product, and we're going to talk about um, their lineup, um, their primary lineup today. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn this over to Zach so you guys can learn who Black Sword is. Sure. I'm Zach with Black Sword, and uh, we, we kind of started in the firearms industry a little differently than most companies. Uh, our, our founders, uh, one of them was in the military, one was in manufacturing, and one was in information technology. Um, and then uh, our owner uh, was in the nuclear industry. So we kind of went at firearms with nuclear backgrounds because that's what we wanted to do. We didn't want to just build the same rifle that is on the shelf. We wanted to build a better rifle or, or a better priced rifle. You know, we've made rifles that are, uh, have gone 55,000 rounds with you know, being cleaned about five times. And you know, we've, we've seen stuff go 17,000 rounds before anything even glitches on it. So uh, that's kind of kind of what we do a little bit. But we again, we're the little guy, and we uh, we're batting above our weight. Uh, we were being you know used in law enforcement and uh, military environments, and uh, the stuff I hear back is is all positive. All right, the they have three main products right now. Um, the from the top down, uh, we've got their long range precision AR that is um, chambered in 556, and then they're uh, right in the middle, they've got their standard length 16 inch barrel uh, AR 15, and then below that at the bottom, they've got the SBR. The long range precision is built out for long range precision. So it has the same results performance wise, but at a greater distance um, for more precise accuracy at that greater distance. The mid range is, it's your standard AR-15, um, but it performs just as well as the long range precision. And the SBR, again, same results. They've created three different styles of rifle and kept the performance identical, which in my opinion is amazing. So, Zach, let's talk about the first one. All right, so let's talk about the rapier here. The rapier is uh, an 18 inch uh, match grade barrel, uh, nickel boron bolt carrier groove. You know, we got some precision features on here, uh, match trigger. This is actually a, an interesting version of the rapier. We built it for um, the international cyber competition. For their range day or a vendor shoot day and uh, it's actually uh, select fire so you can at 400 yards you can let off you know 10 rounds in a burst and hit a steel target with every round um, but in semi semi-auto mode this is a sub 3 ace moa gun and uh, that's pretty darn good and with match ammo you know it's pretty darn good <laughs> but that's that's kind of the the basics of it um we got some proprietary stuff inside, but uh, I'd be surprised if you were able to find it. So, uh, so now what we're going to do is we're, we're going to skip over the middle one. We're going to come back to it. That's the one we're going to do primarily do the most shooting with. So let's skip to the bottom. Let's talk about the sure. SBR. So the SBR here, um, I mean, it's a 10 and a half inch uh, barrel R5 rifling, 5.56 chamber, uh, nickel boron ball carrier group. Um, this particular one has about 30,000 rounds through it, and it was evaluated by a SLED in South Carolina um, at about 20,000 rounds um, and did very, very well. 
Uh, it's uh, with about 25,000 rounds, it's still a, a one and a quarter MOA ish. I think the last time we checked, it was about one and a quarter. Um, and it is uh, totally controllable. Uh, our muzzle brake is was designed by a, a local guy, and, and we, we work with him to develop it a little bit. And uh, it mitigates your recoil and muzzle rise. And, and uh, I mean, we, we've got some guys that shoot this one-handed without any problems. So, um, Zach, there's the middle one. Let's go ahead and briefly talk about it, and then we'll showcase it after, uh, sure, sure. right before we shoot it. The, the scythe, it's kind of our, our uh, bread and butter gun. Um, it's, uh, it's being used right now, so we can't, we can't show it, but we'll, we'll come back to it. Um, it uh, standard configuration is a 15 inch rail uh, with our 16 inch barrel um, one of, of three configurations on the barrel but they're all the same barrel it's just the cosmetics or the or the the, the profile that's different and uh, comes with a, a great polished mil spec trigger um, that's nickel Teflon coated and um, super slick and, and like I said, we got one that has over 55,000 rounds through it, and it's still chugging. It's a, it's a great rifle to get into three gun. It's a great rifle to go out and varmint hunt. It's a great rifle for, I call it the do anything rifle because it, you can do just about anything with it. Right, so uh, Black Sword actually has a couple sponsored competitors that shoot for them, um, and the scythe is, is awesome. Uh, I fired all three weapons. Uh, the scythe is by far my favorite, uh, just because I'm a I'm a classic standard length AR guy. Uh, it's super comfortable. It's lightweight. Handling these is very very easy. Uh, it makes shooting even more fun than what it already is. Uh, rather you shoot recreationally, you're in competition. You're thinking about getting into competition. Um, Black Sword is definitely an option I guarantee you haven't heard about, but you need to pick up and add it to whatever activity it is that you're doing in the gun world. Um, so, the base of operations for Black Sword is out of Knoxville, Tennessee. The coolest part about what these guys do is they also offer um, Cerakoting. And everybody that goes out and they find the rifle they want and they eventually want to make it their own or make it different or they've found a different purpose for it uh, and they send it off you got to take it down yourself you got to send the components off to be seracoded then it all gets sent back to you and you've got to reassemble everything or you could pay even more money and have them disassemble Cerakote, reassemble, ship it back. Zach, talk about your, your Cerakoting process and, and what you guys offer to your customers in, in that aspect. Sure, um, we, we don't sell to the public a lot, um, but if someone knows where we are and how to get in touch with us, we're, we'll, we'll offer them pricing and, and that sort of thing. But we mostly uh, build to specifications of our customers. Um, and the, the, the kind of the joke around around the, the shop is we're called Black Sword, but we make almost no black rifles. Um, almost everything is Cerakoted um, because we just think it's it kind of makes it stand out. And part part of the idea was to, to develop a, a an off the shelf gun that was already kind of customized to what we felt was was going to be popular, or what I felt was going to be popular in a lot of the cases. I mean, we got some a really talented Cerakote artist, and and he can do custom camos he can do uh, he's got his own version of, of camo we call uh, either raptor camo or uh, lizard camo depending on who you talk to and it's pretty cool it actually works pretty well uh, depending on the colors he uses and um, and Cerakote's a really good coating for firearms um, it's, it's got some lubrication properties to it so um, that we, we do something a little bit differently than most companies um, we actually anodize all the parts and then Cerakote on top of them. So we have, it's kind of the secret, we have a double coating and it, it, it gives you some extra longevity out of your firearm. Uh, that's pretty much Black Sword in a nutshell. The, um, these guys don't stop. They, they're not stopping at just their products. They're, they're constantly in the lab. They're coming up with new concepts, new ideas uh, to bring 
their results, their performance results, to other aspects of the um, the gun world and in, in, in the industry. So I'm excited to see what they have in the future, but for right now, we're going to play with what we got. guys we got the scythe back so here's the uh, we'll look at it this is the standard 16 inch length now we're gonna run it Hey guys, Tactical Taylor here. So it's next day uh, after the Black Sword range day. It was, oh man, we spent all day out there. Uh, the whole thing took longer. We were sharing the range. That's a different project I can't talk about right now, but we will get with those people later on another episode. Uh, but we were, we were able to shoot everything, showcase everything. The, uh, some of the things that you couldn't see in these clips, and I apologize, I did not set up for the slow motion. Uh, next time, I will absolutely do that. You're going to see these guns again. Um, you're absolutely going to see these guns again. You're going to see them a lot. There, there's a reason why I sought these guys out um, to do this video, so you guys could know who they are. They have literally... Uh, broken into the industry with something that is extremely innovative and right out of the box you get you're getting something that nobody else has accomplished I'm not saying it can't be done I'm not saying that anybody else hasn't um, achieved the same thing with multiple mod you know with, with some modifications but to be able to pay your money, fill out your paperwork, take your gun home, take it out of the box, take it out and shoot it, to the best of my knowledge, they're the only company that's achieved this. And that is, they've eliminated muzzle rise. You can see it in the videos, it's all recoil. Um, at the very end, I was standing like a, <laughs> standing like a dweeb with the, uh, with the scythe. Uh, the scythe was the only one that wasn't select fire. Uh, the select fire demo gun was being used elsewhere. Uh, so that was the only one that wasn't select fire. But uh, I was standing like a total dweeb and, <laughs> and the, any, any movement in that gun was totally my bad. But, um, but seriously, like laying down in the prone with the rapier. I mean, yeah, I'm on a bipod uh, and I was laying down in the prone but anybody who shoots a lot knows that you see all the slightest movement in a weapon, in, in a gun, through the optics. I was able to keep the crosshairs on steel 250 yards down range the entire time. Every round I fired hit steel. So, it was, I mean... Guys, that is nothing short of, of awesome, especially in this industry. Um, their their price points and everything are on their website. I've got that in in the description below. Check out their website. Look at their price point. Um, guys, the, it's an amazing company. You can get, we mentioned the Cerakoting. When you order your gun, you can order it to order 
any one color Cerakoted to order. So you're getting a custom gun at an extremely reasonable rate that's super innovative in the industry. Uh, so that's all I got right now, guys. Uh, I, I hope you've enjoyed the video. There's much, much more to come. I'm super excited for this one. And I'll see you guys next time. Stay tactical, my friends.